Hey everybody, it's Hut Wiggly. Uh, I know a few animators and filmmakers who use Windows Movie Maker to edit their projects. Uh, despite the fact that I have some more expensive video editing software myself, I still use Windows Movie Maker to edit video and sound for my animation projects. Uh, one of the tricks I learned early on was how to create multiple soundtracks, despite the fact that Windows Movie Maker only has a single spot for on the timeline down here for uh, for uh, movies for uh, soundtrack. Uh, you see the audio music uh, portion if you're familiar with uh, Windows Movie Maker. Uh, what I want to talk about real quick is how to add multiple soundtracks. Um, all right, as you can see, I already opened Windows Movie Maker, and I have a couple. Uh, I have a clip here from the, my last project where uh, I'm pushing the Bush and Obama in the uh, shopping cart. Um, you'll see uh, it has no sound. See, so I'm just running this with no sound. Now what I'm going to do is I will drag this, it's called uh, Shopping Cart 2, this uh, MP3 sound. I'm going to drop it down here on the audio slash music uh, timeline track and what you're gonna hear I don't know if you can hear that here I'll turn up the sound so you hear the uh, shopping cart start off now uh, I dragged that into the uh, timeline there I don't know if you can see it now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna m move out some and I'm going to shrink this down so that uh, it matches the length of the clip. The uh, the sound links matches the length of the clip. And then uh, once you have the sound in place and you got the your edits together, um, I didn't really edit this so that it matches, you know, like fully. That's just me pushing the uh, shopping cart started here. Uh, once you get that in order where you want it you can then uh, go here to where it says save to my computer and I'm going to call this file uh, presjackass uh, and I'll call it SP for sound pass 1 so I don't know if you can see that on the video there but uh, I'm going to name this and then I'm going to save it as a uh, AV, A, or excuse me, DV, AVI, NTSC file. Okay, so I hit next, and uh, it's going to take a while for it to uh, compile as a video, so I'm going to go ahead and pause. Okay, as you can see, we're back. We have the, uh, the video has uh, saved my computer with the sounds, so I'll click finish, and I'll go over here, and you can see. There it is, there's the sound. Okay. Now, I've got the uh, na the uh, noise of the cart going with my uh, clip of me pushing the presents in the shopping cart now. <coughs> Excuse me, so what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna go here, up here, and I'm gonna hit File, New Project. Do you wanna save the changes made? No, we don't need to. You can, I guess, but I'm not gonna. Uh, and then I'm going to import video and the video file I'm looking for is a Prez Jackass SP2 or SP1 excuse me so here we go and I'm going to import my file and there it is you can see it up here now what you're going to see when I drop this on the timeline whenever it loads, I'm going to pause this while it's loading okay we're back, it loaded, just takes a while because I have a really old slow computer uh, I dropped the Prez Jackass SP1 file down to the video timeline and as you can see here I now have an audio track to that that wasn't previously there so what I can do now is I can import audio or music <coughs> and I can bring in another uh, see I'll bring in uh, this footsteps file <coughs> so you can actually drag this down to the audio music track and uh, let me 
increase this so we can and what you're going to hear now is uh, the sounds of me running behind the shopping cart hopefully okay uh, let's uh, make the edit so it's a little cleaner because I actually start running this running sound actually starts before I actually start running in the video uh, so what I'm going to do is start it there that's still a little early let's uh, slide that over so what you can do is you can do all your foley add all your sound effects to the uh, soundtrack and then save the file and then bring it back in to re-import it back into Windows Movie Maker and once you do that you have the sounds again see now I'm running and you have the soundtrack of me running along with it so what I'll do is I'll save that to my computer and I'll call it uh, Prez Jackass SP2 okay and the uh, AV or DV AVI uh, NTSC setting that's the highest uh, resolution I can get on my computer as far as video files so I'll save that real quick and it's going to take a while so I'll pause the video okay and I'm back and here is the audio files added the video with both audio files added okay and you can see everything's there um, you can also if you go over here you can also uh, there's a volume and you can adjust the level of, of audio from the video and increase the level of audio from the audio track so you can use that to balance out your sound um, the footsteps were a little bit unnatural in their volume so I um, mean you could adjust that if you want to now what we can do is we'll go here uh, new project no we don't want to save that and then I can import my video again and for Prez Jackass SP2 where'd it go there it is SP2 I said Pez instead of Prez I can't type so now it's uh, importing the file it's going to take a second so I'll uh, pause okay I'm back I've imported the file uh, drop it on the timeline and it plays the uh, both tracks now I have both tracks on the video and now if I wanted to I can add music or more sounds or whatever you can do this indefinitely and add as many sound uh, <coughs> add as many tracks to the sound as you like uh, one of the things uh, I get a lot of grief from people. Yeah, I use uh, I use Windows Movie Maker to edit my my sound and my video projects. Um, I have Adobe Premiere. I just choose not to use it because it runs really slow and it's really hard to sync my sound edits with uh, my video using Adobe Premiere since it runs so slow. Um, so that's an option. Plus. Uh, Movie Maker's free. Windows Movie Maker's free. I mean, you can't get much better than free. And, you know, if you have the $200 or so to, to kick down for Sony Vegas or Adobe Premiere, then I say good on you. And that's, that's awesome that you have that. Uh, personally, I don't have a computer that will run both of those, and I don't have the money to buy a new computer. So if you're broke like me, and you're doing animation or, or film or whatever and you want to use uh, Windows Movie Maker to edit it it's still a viable option and you can still run uh, multiple tracks of sound anyway this is the technique I use to edit the sound for my animated projects hopefully you find it useful if you guys have any questions or comments about this technique please leave them in the comments section and thank you for watching